Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update. We've got a lot of news to cover this week, so let's get right into it. Sony have announced that they are debuting the new Slim Vita in America in a Borderlands 2 bundle. The bundle will include the Slim Vita, a digital copy of Borderlands 2, and an 8GB memory card to contain it. The current date for the bundle is listed as March 18th, which was a date 2K Games quickly announced and then removed for Borderlands 2 at a price of $200. Borderlands 2 has also been given a bit of an update by Sony. They have announced that the Vita version will contain 6 pieces of DLC. Captain Scarlet, the Campaign of Carnage, the Psycho and Necromancer classes, the Collector's Edition pack, and the first Ultimate Vault Hunter pack. The game will also be cross-saved with the PS3 version. Sony have announced both the release dates for the God of War Collection and the Sly Collection on the Vita. The God of War Collection, which contains the first two games of the series, will release on the 6th of May, while the Sly Collection that contains the original trilogy of games is coming on the 27th of May. NIS America have announced at a press event that they are localizing both the enhanced port of Disagaea 4, known as English as A Promise Revisited, and Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, the second half of the Japanese enhanced collection Danganronpa 1 and 2 Reload. Disagaea 4, A Promise Revisited will be released in the summer in America, while Danganronpa 2 is promised for the fall. Access have announced two games for localization this week. Both the Vita version of BlazBlue Chrono Phantasma, which was only announced a week or two ago by Arc System Works, and X-Blaze Code Embryo, the visual novel prequel to the BlazBlue universe. No dates have been confirmed outside of this year for both games. Sony have announced that they plan to localize the latest PS3 and Vita versions of Invisibles, The Lost Kingdom and The Alliance respectively, to North America. These games were already released in Europe several months ago, with no confirmed release date for North America as of yet. No Heroes Allowed, no puzzles either. An enhanced and free-to-play version of the PS Mobile puzzler Unama will be coming to the North America Vitas sometime in the spring. The game was already released in Japan a few months ago. SteamWorld Dig, a mining platform adventure created for 3DS and PC, is coming to the PS4 and Vita sometime this year. It was originally not going to make it to the Sony platforms until the PC version came with a higher definition presentation, which allowed for an easier port. No solid date as of yet. Divekick Edition Edition has been announced as a free update to Divekick, with at least one new character and stage, and a large set of balancing tweaks and bug fixes. The patch doesn't have any date as of yet. The creator of visual novels 999 and Virtue's Last Reward, Kotaro Ichikoshi, has made an English Twitter account announcing that the development of Zero Escape Volume 3 is on indefinite hiatus due to Spike Chunsoft not greenlighting the sequel since the other Zero Escape volumes are not profitable in Japan. He has claimed that Zero Escape Volume 3 will eventually be released in some form. Curve Studios have announced a new puzzle game for the Vita and PC. Mousecraft is a game that's been described as a combination of Lemmings and Tetris where you drop Tetrominoes in order to help mice get to the end of the level. The game will contain over 50 levels, leaderboards and a level editor at launch, which is predicted to be sometime in early May. Tecmo Koe has trademarked Tukiden Kyoko in Japan. The trademark was originally made in December and was just made public this week. One notable translation of Tukiden Kyoku is Tukiden Extreme, hinting at a potential Extreme Legend style re-release, at least in Japan. Tecmo Koe has made no comment as of yet. The developers of Demon Gaze have announced that they are bringing their current Xbox 360 and PC development project, Stranger of the Village of the Sword, to the Vita. I don't have many other details to share, however. Risk of Rain, the roguelike combat platformer, is coming to the Vita, announced by both the publisher Chucklefish and then by Shahid Kamal Hamad on Twitter this week. There's no release window or details as of yet, but stay tuned for updates. And finally, a quick release date right at the end. MLB 14 The Show is coming to the Vita on the 1st of April. That's it for this week. Like, subscribe, comment, and share the video around if you liked it. See you next week.